Okay, this video we're going to go over how to take apart your polisher, um, get the brush out, show you what you need to do to access that for cleaning. Um, so first you're going to have, you've got your clips back here. And up here to take this off. with those clips. Um, here's the actual case that the polisher's in. You've got your upper bearing, your lower bearing, your belt here that's connected to it. So you need to remove this belt. So here, this is this is the tensioner. So you want to loosen that, slide it over so the belt can freely move a little bit more. It should come off really easily. Um, and then with that, you can lift this up and out. You also need to remove your air nozzle up here. That should come out. This top bearing is free moving, so make sure you don't drop or lose it. You can just set it back in the machine here while you're pulling this apart. Then we come over here. brush should just pull out these these plastic ends you can also remove um, to get it back on it will be easy to remove this but to pull that out you can just leave it as is um, that way you can clean out the case for the for the actual brush once you get the brush and everything out of the machine um, you can take this plastic baffle off pull the brush out you can clean those up um, here's where the brush rests itself. This has a set screw that you can loosen and then take, take the brush out of this slot so that you can then do it on the bottom as well. Pull the brush out entirely, you can clean that as you need. Um, then putting it back together, you put this back on and then you need to, before you tighten it, you need to give the brush some tension. About a quarter of a turn will do before you then tighten your set screw. If you don't, the brush can drop back out of the slot and cause issues, ruin your brush, and not polish anything. So get that with some tension, tighten it back up. Then to put this back together, um, rather than putting the plastic baffle back on and then putting it back in there, sometimes your bristles will get caught and it will be hard to get them beyond that point. So it can help to put the baffle on the brush before reattaching it. It'll get here and your bristles kind of will fight you. Um, you can get a tool to pull them through, a pick, small screwdriver, um, just use your hands if you want. Just make sure you get all your bristles through before you get it attached. So once you've got your baffle on there and all the bristles have been pulled through so there's none sticking out, you can Slide the brush back in its case here. Just up in there like that. <clears throat> then you're going to want to take your bearing out here, put it back on.
And then there's a bearing on the bottom that will go in this slot, and then this bearing goes back in its slot on the top. Just like that. Once you've got the brush and its case back in, you're gonna put your belt back on. Um, it's gonna be easier to put it on the larger gear first than the bottom one. Then you can put your tension back in, tighten that back up, and then we'll put the cases back on. Top one goes on first. Slots go over the bearings um, and the ejection. Now with the back one, this slot will go over these. Um, you can put it on to where it slides over them, but then it would not necessarily line up with, with the clamps. Um, just pay attention to that when you're putting it on. And then up here, just reattach your air. and then your polishers all put back together.